sorry I'm a towel again and I wasn't trying to be but it just happens that I made this video while I was in my towel hello so we are going to be doing an, an ipsy September 2024 boxy charm unboxing it says enter your soft era start fresh this fall which we're gonna do with downright dreamy beauty and one of the items that's in here or if it's trending on the back, currently trending, I actually got in this box. I think I only got one of them, though. And I remember from years ago, I, I talked about it in my first video when I made a comeback the other day, in August, with Boxy, that I used to get five items in a regular box, and last time I got four, and I was sad. And I think this time around, like, once you're in it, you get to pick some choices. I think it was, like, three choices, though. I don't remember, though. I can't remember. But one of these items, this one here, is trending. So let me show you. It's from Alamar. It's the cheek palette. I'm sweating, so don't mind me. I'm like, I'm fucking sweating. Alamar Viva Chicas Fair Light, which is me. I'm fair. I try to be fair, and I'm very light. Uh, Viva Las Chicas Fair Light. Cheek palette. You got La Muy Shy, La Nina Fresa, or Fresa, La Extra, Glitter Transformer, Bright to uh, Bright Pop, and then a Nude Base. It's backwards, I'm sorry. That's how the girls do it these days. It's very cute. This is trending somewhere. Sorry, my hands are very mad at me right now. I don't know why, but... Oh, this is cute. We're gonna swatch this. That's what we're gonna do. I'm not gonna use this right now, although I was gonna do my face. I might do my face and I maybe use this after, but... Bright pop, which looks like blush. And then this is a highlight or an eyeshadow, maybe? Glitter transformer, a lot extra. Sorry. Okay, that's really pretty. It, to me, it looks like a dupe for the Fenty Beauty, my favorite highlighter. How many carrots? I don't know, Rihanna. You never told me how many. I don't know if you could see it. Kind of. That's this. And then we have La Nina Fresa Bright Pop. This is for fair light skin. Hence me. Okay. That's cute. Kind of reminds me of my ego from Tarte. It's a dupe for the Eagle from Tarte, maybe. That's pretty. Kind of with the Milani one that I have too. It's kind of mixed like that. Oh, what the hell is this? What is this? this what is this what is it oh it's a cream blush nude base so what do they want you to put that on top and then on top maybe I'm like why is this moving it's a cream blush okay I kind of see you it's in here it, it blends right into the color of my skin I'm getting glitter here too I'm like what? Sorry about my hands. I got ugly in my arm. I could see it though. I can see it. I don't know if you can see this. I'm getting closer to you. If you could see it, I don't know. But I could see it. Like I definitely can see it. The glitter is really pretty. That would be a really beautiful topper for like an eyeshadow or a highlighter. Very pretty. I see you. That's the Vivas Chicas. Then we have. This was another one that I think I picked out of the, um, all the options. Sorry, my head's kind of off. God forbid. This is from Eloise. I think that's how you call her. Eloise. Some of the, these brands I'm more or less familiar with. This one I'm less familiar with. Flawless Loose Setting Powder. Say goodbye to fine lines. Which is one of the reasons why I picked it. Say goodbye to fine lines. Because I'm 40. I'll be 41 in December. Oh my god. 
and large pores to achieve an effortlessly smooth base with our loose setting powder. Its finely milled formula is created to set your makeup with an ultra smooth and flawless finish. It has talc in it, by the way. So if you don't like this kind of scares me too. And there's a disclaimer on it. Um, there's talc in it, so if you're um, partial to talc, I would say one. It says, disclaimer, if you experience any irritation, please discontinue all use and consult your doctor. Good to know. And it's in vanilla. United Kingdom. Um, the packaging is cute. I don't like butterflies, but I think it's cute. I still think it's cute, you know, for those who do. That's nice, too. Vanilla Loose Setting Powder. And backwards, for those who can't read. Backwards, I can. Can All right, let's see. Okay, there's like a puffer thing. A puff puff. And... Teaser. So we're doing a science experiment. It doesn't really smell much like much of anything. I'm gonna set it. I'm gonna set the um the blush you can hardly see with this just to test it. To see how I react. I know where I put it. I put it on the lightest one. I can actually see it in person. You might not be able to see it, but I can see it in person. So I'm going to put this back in there. The puff puff. I think I <clears throat> might be sensitive to that because I'm already choking. All right, so you must be choking. Yes, I am. All right, so what else is in here? We got Ciate. Oh, yeah. Let me remove whatever's left on my chapstick. This is for the lips. This is from Ciate London. The Watermelon Burst 2-in-1 Everyday Lip Balm and Mask. And I was excited because it unacquired. How would you be required? I don't know. So, I know see a table on me, kind of. So, I've used her on now. I don't think, maybe once I've actually, maybe once I've ordered, I bought something myself from Seattle London once or twice. But usually it's from the box. This is really cute. It's a little bow. Watermelon Burst 2-in-1 Everyday Lip Balm and Mask. And we could totally use this right now. It smells like watermelon. It's like that artificial watermelon. That I'm not keen about, but I'll use it anyway. Nice. Let's see how it feels in a bit. So that's nice so far. Um, I'm not crazy about things that you have to use your fingers to dip in, but it's good so far. This is from. This is from Il Maquillage, and it's a blush, mineral baked blush. It reminds me of the, um, the Milani ones, the big blushes, which I love. Mineral baked blush made in Italy from Il Maquillage, and it's in shade Vogue, which is one of the items that I picked. And I remember, I think I picked the watermelon thing too. So far, I think I picked everything, and then after that, I don't remember. Um, Il Maquillage. I like to smell everything. I'm going to use this hand to do a swatch. Okay, it's very like maroony, kind of mauve maroony. Ah, uh -huh, okay. Very fall. I might like this on me. Don't mind the breakout. My skin is just really mad at me lately. When I say lately, I mean the last few days. She's very mad at me. You could see this, right? It looks like I got pant like my arm got punched. This would be good for like a Halloween. <laughs> for Halloween. It's pretty though. I don't know. I think I like it better than the other one. 
And it looks nice with the glitter mixed into it. And then I got... I'm not supposed to do that, but I did it. And then I got... Another one. And shade Bootylicious. Did I pick both of them? I don't remember. So this is another Il Maquillage Mineral Baked Blush. I might have. I think I did. I thought the name was funny. Bootylicious. Body's too bootylicious for you, baby. Bootylicious. And it looks like this. Reminds me of one of the Tarte ones I used to love that I haven't seen in a while. I'm going to put it up here. Okay. I actually like these on my arm. I'm not sure about my face, but I like them on my arm. They like they blend nicely in to the arm. You can hardly see that one on here, but I can see it, kind of. But so far, I like the other one better. What was it called again? Vogue. Oh, I forgot that. Then we have another setting powder from Ofra, airbrush setting powder, Ofra. And it says the very best lightweight setting powder that gives you that airbrushed finish. In brightening strawberry, it's all about the finish. Set your way to very fabulous with our all-in-one brightening strawberry powder. This innovative matte powder is versatile and can be used to conceal dark under eye circles, set concealer and foundation, bright and, um, excuse me, and bake and highlight and brighten. How we apply it, apply to powder brush, tap excess product from brush, and swipe brush across face to set makeup. Doesn't have talc in it. Raining strawberry. I was looking at the ingredients. I'm like, hmm. Oh, probably like hit or miss. But let's hope it will be a hit. I don't know. Straining strawberry. Also really cute packaging and okay. Ooh. I hope I didn't inhale it. I'm gonna put it um here. I can't really see it though. This wasn't sealed. Clearly, I'm getting powder everywhere. Um, but yeah. I mean, it's hard to tell when you're not actually doing your makeup and then you put it on your arm. But it does melt right in. <laughs> okay, so it doesn't smell like strawberries. And then last, we have... Neria Cream Eyeshadow. I'm not crazy about cream eyeshadows, but I'll try it. VC Collection, I think that is, or the YC Collection. Cream Eyeshadow in Shade Kindness. Kill them with kindness. Kill them. Kill them. Made in China. Oh, it is the YC Collection. What color is this? Oh, this is an interesting packaging it kind of reminds me of um glossier is it glossier the ones that come in a thing like this i think it's sealed what kind of color is this glossier okay so it's like a metallic coppery color it comes out like that i might give this away but obviously not online because i opened it um but i'm not crazy about cream eyeshadows but look how much um that can that that bit blended into if you will this you could definitely say I'm just going to see how my arm reacts throughout the day. Does it get worse than it was? <laughs> well, it doesn't really smell, which is good, I guess. That's another way to look. Yeah, that actually, yeah. 
So that's the Hellhorn. This is a very interesting video. So yeah, we got this. We got this. And we got my lips. So I hope you enjoyed my video. Sorry, I'm a towel again, and I wasn't trying to be, but it just happens that I made this video while I was in my towel. I will see you all later, and I hope you subscribe, and you follow me, and you like this video, and you share it with everybody you know, and um, come back for more and watch everything else I've had. Since then, I have almost a thousand videos up, like all together, between shorts and videos and whatever else. And I'll see you later. Bye.